This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating energy released in nuclear reactions. So we'll start by calculating the energy released in a nuclear fusion reaction. In this fusion reaction, deuterium and tritium react together to form helium and a neutron. The first step is to calculate the mass of the reactants and the products. Note that these masses are shown in atomic mass units. If we look at the masses of the reactants and the products, we can see that the mass of the products is less than the reactants. So here we have the value of the mass difference in atomic mass units, which is then being converted to kilograms. We then use the equation E equals mc squared, where E is energy released, m is the difference in mass between the reactants and the products, and c is the speed of light. So next we'll go through the calculation. To calculate the energy released, the mass difference between the reactants and the products is multiplied by the speed of light squared. This gives us a value of 2.91 times 10 to the negative 12 joules per nucleus. This is the amount of energy released for the formation of one helium nucleus. To calculate the energy released for one mole of helium nuclei, we multiply the value for one nucleus by the Avogadro constant. This gives us a value of 1.75 times 10 to the 9 kilojoules per mole. In the next example, we'll calculate the energy released in a nuclear fission reaction. In this fission reaction, uranium-235 absorbs a neutron to form barium-141, krypton-92, and three neutrons. So like our previous example, if we look at the masses of the reactants and the products, we can see that the mass of the products is less than the reactants. So here we have the mass difference between the reactants and the products, which is then being converted to kilograms. So just like in the previous example, we'll use the equation E equals mc squared to calculate the energy released. So the first step is to multiply the mass difference between the reactants and the products by the speed of light squared. This gives us 2.78 times 10 to the negative 11 joules per nucleus. This is the energy released for the fission of one uranium-235 nucleus. To calculate the value for one mole of uranium-235 nuclei, we multiply the value for one nucleus by the Avogadro constant, which gives us 1.67 times 10 to the 10 kilojoules per mole. 